if you can come on the high, high, low, and low, and we want a low, hello. Uh, including Ipo, you are able to come on the 19 or 20 of a uh, glass cup, okay? <coughs> Hope to see you. Then we'll discuss on. We, 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 chill. we chill. What's the date? 19 or 20, I still have not decided. Okay. We, 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 we chill. I, I just came back from OBS. Oh, never mind. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. Okay, let's go through, guys. Today is a new month. Only the third day of November. Wow. We still got a long way to go for November. In, in fact, November is going to be very, very active. Huh? Because Uncle Raymond is going to have some boot camp here and there. And then uh, celebrations with my set one, two, and three from JTC student. Wow. Can't wait to see y'all. And uh, on top of that, there will be new things uh, starting from next year. But these two months, I let y'all relax, relax. Starting in January, maybe I might start earlier. I have new things to be insert for subjects. Huh? And one of them will be like, example, newspaper reporter, okay, uh, debates, and then we have uh, uh, this uh, vocab at your fingertips, that kind of things. Huh? Okay, we are just, uh, I just have a new lesson plan for 2023. It's going to be very interesting. Mm -hmm. And for those of you like Han Ning and Yi Po for history, huh? there's two things, huh? okay? I, I leave it to you. If you want to sign up for history class, you can sign up with JLC. If you don't want to, you, you are most welcome to attend Uncle Raymond's free history lesson. I'm serious. I'm serious. Okay. I really want to make sure you're passed. I'm serious. Ipo, I'm serious. Is there a catch? I'm not a scammer. Bloody hell. You don't think why I, after I teach you history, I must scam you. Uh, you must pay $200. <laughs> Blackmail woman. <laughs> you must pay $200 inside. Then you can have the history. No, I say I keep my ass. Okay. So anyway, uh, I think I told you that uh, the SS uh, came out. Uh, the SS came out this year also about 100%, near to 100%. Uh, bingo. Uh, jackpot for my social study and history. I'm very proud of that. So, yeah, the question that I spotted came up, but again, it's all depends on the student, how good they are and how much they can write, how well they wrote, right? Correct now. Uh? So, it all depends. Uh, so, uh, Yipo, you are the my, my very last batch of history and SS. Uh. So hopefully next year, uh, you can score B3 to A1. I'm serious. Right? I think you're hunger for that also, right? Come on. Okay, if you're not hunger, I will call you a friendly, understanding, concern, and kind. I think the first approval. <laughs> right, can you? Friendly, understanding, concern, and kind. <laughs> okay, okay. You got it, got the joke, huh? got the joke. Huh? <laughs> okay, so anyway, this month, we are talking about ideologies, unemployment, and cyber wellness. Huh? Now, these three topics are, in fact, uh, quite related to one another. Because um, unemployments, uh, they come up new ideas to scam people, right? True not? Because of all these people, who, you see, uh, if you have a proper job, uh, you won't go and scam people, uh, Tima Ibo, right? Tenyu and, 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 and Hani Karena. If you have a job that uh, gives you uh, enough, very comfortable, five to 10,000 a month, what, what are you going to scam? And maybe, uh, and maybe uh, can you? Maybe there are possibility that there are people who join yet to attend yet and oh, see, see, now you learn tan tan tian to order and you come on, yeah, oh, you funny thing, okay, oh, they want to link. Where do people say, no, no, I'm in now, it's sour, no such thing, I'm going to, uh, yeah, how I wish I got a lot of girlfriends or so, but cannot, uh, if I got a lot of girlfriends, that's it, people, I have to sleep in the coffee shop with you, okay, I'm going to go to the joke aside, uh, now, ideologies is something that, uh, you, you, you can tell me what, no. Ipo, back to you. What is your definition for ideology for a history student like you? Uh, a certain set of belief that one person holds, like it can reflect on their like behaviors and like uh, management of facilities, such as you know that certain person whose name such a page. Thank you. That's all. Right. I, I, I can go on a rent. Yeah, go on a rent. Lah. Go, 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 go. Hey, you're supposed to do that. Lah. You're going to take exam next year. You're going to take a lot of exam next year. Come on. If you if you are limited resources to say something, then sorry. Ah. That means you're also limited to C5 and C6. Oh. Three, ma. Let's be honest. Do you think? Why people want to employ a CEO to pay thousands of dollars with shares, with bonuses? Because they are buying their ideas and brain, their ideology. But if you have limited them, I'm so sorry. Then you myself sorry, ah. Uh, Yipo and Han Ling and Tianyu. I'm not looking for 
那些扫地工人不用用头脑的吗？不是不是，哎，杨哥，你怎么可以这样讲话？阿弥陀佛，哎，阿路，你扫地需要用什么头脑？我有冇 say the diagonal the angle the isosceles triangle 是一块画内或者内，画内啊，冇是 key the area。No, no, we need to calculate the area and the broom size so we can sweep the floor slightly more effectively. Then then you manipulate manipulating the 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 machines ah, you are you must move how many? And then you think seven x plus two y equals nine, and then you sweep the floor. If this is the day that comes like that, I tell you, that's it, man. I think uh life is getting more complicated lah. Hello, please lah. For goodness sake, don't lah. We already got so complicated in life already. Then you can't tell me what lah. I tell you. Thank you. Ah, seven x plus there. Hey, please. I'm not going to do this math situation. Then don't hire me. Okay. Joke aside. Now this is your ideologies about a sweeper and a person. You see, ah, there are three type of s. Ah, the first s is a very successful person, right? Ah, a second s is a sweeper, and then the third s is a shit. Ah, shitty. Ah, right? Ah. Not slut lah, it's a really shitty. To be honest, uh, shitty means that people are very shitty, ah, 就是没有用的人 right? Seriously, I mean definitely. Like, 刚才我跟你讲哦，一波天佑哎哈里。刚才我去排队买菜饭啊，啊 queuing up. So in front of me got this uncle, you know those are uh, uh mobile scooter. Ah, so that means he cannot walk, right? So everyone are queuing up. Got this China guy. I will use China guy. Ah, I don't want to be racist. I don't want to say China a guy. Ah, a China guy or Chinese guy. Ah. Okay, a Chinese guy. But I can tell he's a child from China. Okay, nothing wrong. I'm not against anybody. Yeah. So he was standing there pretending to look at the food. And then later, uh, when the person uh, Cai Fan asked him, uh, what you want? Uh, then he start to say something. Then well, I, I purposely look at the, the person who's taking the, the, the vegetables. Uh. Uh, 这个 uncle 来先的 I never say Ta Ka Q. Uh, 一波，这个 uncle 来先的 So straight away, uh, he pretend really don't know. So he said, my idea of telling that person who, who na na ka cai fan oh, he said, hey, hello, please can you remind that young man ah, don't cut queue, he said. So what happened is an Indian man. What happened is a Malay man. Of course, Malay wouldn't eat the Chinese food lah, because Allah. What about other race? So am I, am I against certain race? Initially, I used to be ah, Yibo. Tian Yu and Han Ling. Initially, yes. Seriously. Okay, that there, there are people who are against certain race. So I, I, I mean, I'm one of them. I have to admit. But as time goes by, I feel like not right. Ah, you have no right to tell what race not to be here and there. Seriously, you know, ah, Yi Bo Han Ling and Tian Yu, because you are not born in Singapore. Ah, I'm telling you, ah, okay, my mom and my mother-in-law and my grandfather was in Singapore during the before World War Two and after World War Two. Ah, you know Western food, ah, Han Ling, you like Western food. Uh, to some extent. Okay, like I think most of the very famous, I'll tell you, is a fish and chip, right? Chicken color, chicken chop, ah, right. So last time my grandmother told me, ah, the Chinese, ah, as long as you're not amor, ah, you know it's amor, right? As long as you're not white, ah, you cannot step into a Western restaurant. You are not allowed to eat Western food. Even you got money, you go in, ah, they will not serve you, like, bro, bro, to the extent like that. And now, if you go to US, ah, uh, they don't serve the blacks as the serve Chinese one. The Amor don't serve. They are to the extreme. No, this is an ideology. Said one belief. In how ah, if you tell you how, one day ah, uh, you go to America and study, then you walk into a restaurant and someone sorry, I don't serve yellow banana. This us ah, uh, Chinese, I don't serve yellow banana. How tell you? You want to say something? <laughs> Like, yeah. I want. I want to say later. You go USA and then they say I don't serve monkeys. Oh, worse. They say us like monkey. How ah? No, they no. Don't... I mean blacks, cause you know monkey is black, and then you monkey like. Uh... Are you but trying to say like... something that I did not know about? Huh? <laughs> we are all adults. Ah, huh? we are adults. <laughs> Just kidding. But sorry, I'll tell you. You see, ah, uh, imagine you're going. Let's say they say we are monkeys, ah, uh, or like yellow skin, like yellow banana, or things like that. Ah, uh. it's very basic with you. So yeah, there is there, there is one yeah. word. I think like it's like called chink or something. Yeah, I I oh okay. I heard before, but I'm not sure is it correct. I'm 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 not sure the meaning also, but it's like it's probably the 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 like the end word for Chinese. Yeah, the Negro or Negri lah, something like that. No, no, but, it's because like there used to be like so called like peep like they like. They so called their interpretation of our Chinese language is, you know, the C word. What? Chita. Ching. 
Oh, is it the seven hundred in Chinese? They see Qingchong. But you see, ah, uh, Tianyu and Hanlin and ah uh, Yibo, uh, you see, ah, uh, the thing is that. Our Chinese culture got more than five over thousands to six thousand years. The U.S. cultures and 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 history is only like less than three hundred years, and yet now uh, they are they are so supreme. Why? There must be something wrong, right, Chuna? Mm -hmm. We invented gunpowder. We invented paper. We invented calendar. We invented words. We invented a lot of things, and yet how come? Ah, uh, we are now quite far behind. Only recently, the Chinese from China are catching up. Uh. Other than that, you see, wow, what what have we done? Ah. Uh? The one thing I uh, Han Ling and Tianyu, I don't know you agree now. We Chinese are uh, is very selfish. That is why the dynasty fall one after another. We are selfish and we are sometimes over slight do things. Is it true that say ideology? I'm talking about ideology. I may be wrong. But imagine now, uh, Tianyu, if you go to the restaurant in New York and they say, please, you are Chinese, get out of my restaurant. How will you feel, Tianyu? You know what Tianyu will do now, uh, Yipo and Han Ling? Ye <laughs> would. Uh, uh, Kenny will stand there. Ye Wun. Then the, the, the white will bong. One, one black eye. Ye Wun, mm -hmm. bong. Two black eye. <laughs> no lah. I think, what will you do, uh, Kenny? If what? I'll, I'll honestly just leave lah. Just, just, just be mad. Just, just leave off. Because we can't really do much. Correct. Don't risk your life. These are all the bunch of idiots. I will use that. Seriously. But sorry ah. Uh, when you're in Rome, behave like Rome. So sad to say, we, why, how come ah? Uh, we know that these countries are bullying us and racial discriminations and sexisms. Why we still go there and study and want to make a living? Uh? Very funny, oh. Uh? Why? Uh? Is English, uh, honestly, I ask the three of you, is English really that important, man? Without English, cannot survive, huh? No, this is a have you ever think of this question before? Why must we study English? True not. Why are we studying? Uh, 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 okay, okay. England history is also about few thousand years. Definitely not as strong as the the, the, the Chinese and the Indian history. But why? So, gentlemen, very simple. See, I think something God is fair. In my opinion, that you know, different religions, different races, different cultures. I think uh, Ivo, you study that. Uh, they have built up a strong fundamental things called educations, and this education built in their trains of thoughts. So this is where I call ideologies. Now, when they have ideologies of uh, different ideas like the Marxisms, communisms, uh, Nazisms, um, socialism, okay, uh, a democratic capitalist, but uh, all these are against one, one, one uh, idea. You know that? Do you know what is that? What is it? Uh, Han Ling and Yi Po have to know lah, but can you maybe you no need to. All these Marxisms, okay. I, I don't know whether I have here or not. Let me see. Uh. Uh, thank you for Han uh Tian Yu to submit your this this thing. Uh. Let me see. Do I have it here? No, no, I don't have it. Okay. So what is the things that they want to get rid of? Anyone? Racism? No. The minorities. No. You see, uh, we have Marxism, right? We have socialism. Wait, Marx. Wait, isn't it spelled differently? Marxism. Sorry, sorry. Suddenly, I'm pretty sure it's M-A-R-X-I-S-M. It's just I suppose you're hypnotized. 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 I never get to okay. be hit. So you realize all these, ah? Uh, Cry, baby, me. Okay, sorry, ah. Uh, if you realize all these, ah, uh, it's actually against one thing called this. Can anyone tell me? Start with I. Start with I. Ideal, ideal, idealism. Ideology. No. I idealism. Idiot. Run, run by the king. I hate you. Run by the king. 
Hey, you boy, you should know that World War One started because imperialism. Of That's right. Awesome. Who quiz is doing? You are right. You realize that uh, imperialism, uh, you boy, you remember World War One started because all these ideology came in to get rid of imperialism. That's why China is the last one of the Qing Chao is right? Right, and then the Nicholas the Tsar, remember Russia, yes, Sayonara, right? Germany also Sayonara, and all the Ottoman Empire also Sayonara. So that's why you see uh, all these ideologies are uh, is the one concept to get rid of imperialism. Why is it imperialism? The ideology can we discuss a bit today? Why okay, can you you know what's imperialism, right? That means a royal family. Huh? Uh, write down this word. Uh, uh, imperialism is not say Huangdi, is Like okay, then you say Uncle Raymond. If you say carry on imperialism, isn't it? Uh, England got this uh, Queen Elizabeth and uh, King George, isn't it imperialism? Yes, but their imperialism is different now. Can you? Their imperialism, their their Huangdi, uh, their king uh, is being so called constitution king. They they have no power one. They are in that side are Okay, it's like in the temple, black mirror. So they do not have much power. Like. They have power, but they do not have the power like uh I will put you want you to put you in uh, prison, that kind of things, right? So it's a bit different. So because of imperialism, so you see, uh, now you see uh, Ibo. You see, uh, if this today, uh, if Marxism uh, did not penetrate to China, uh, today China will be like North Korea, oh, no, not North, North Korea, will be like continue to have imperialism. Right. And because of imperialism, uh, do you agree? Uh, China lost Hong Kong and Macau, right? Because of the Opium War. Because of imperialism, a uh, uh, majority of the citizens uh, by Singh uh, may you fung yi zhu zi. No, 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 no. I'm so sorry. There are some good king uh, who really take care of their subject uh, and their people, right? Let's be honest. Uh, I believe Yi Po will be a good king, Haning will be a good king, Tianyu will be a good king, Uncle Raymond will be a good king. I will take all the girls who have no husband to be my concubine. Ah, you see, I'm very good king, is it? Ah, uh, right, can you correct now? See, I take all the girls with a lot of concubine. Then I have a lot of children. Then all my children will spread around the world. Then will become the Song Empire. <laughs> oh, who slapped me? <laughs> oh, who slapped me? <laughs> okay, joke aside, do you know Mongol? No? Mongol, the Genghis Khan, Chen Ji Han. Mongolia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He conquered three continents. No? So I suspect uh, Han Ning, you and me, uh, and Tian Yu and Yi Po, maybe uh, we got mixed blood. Because of intermarriages uh, with ideologies, uh, ideologies again. So this topic is very wise, especially those of you who are doing history. Uh, and also don't forget, uh, Tian Yu, you are doing social studies. Yes. Okay. Because I'm not sure what books you are doing for literature. I'm very to to see what books you are doing. If you are doing Julius Caesar's Merchant of Venice, Hamlet, oh my God, please, I would love it, man. If you do Romeo and Juliet, bye bye. You go and you go and do your Romeo and Juliet. Okay. So wait, the Liang Shang Bo Yi Zhu Ying Tai, right? You think what? Liang Shang Bo Yi Zhu Ying Tai. What thing? Oh, the both couple die. Okay. Let's move on. Huh? So we talk about ideologies here. Okay. Uh, let's go to this one. Uh, I think that day we went through, right? So. Uh, you all have not submitted to me for the two of you. Let's read. Uh, can you one? Can you? Can you do your inflation first? Inflation. Inflation is a dangerous threat to humans. What is inflation? You might you may ask. Well, inflation is the rate of increase in prices over a given period of time. Inflation is typically a ball of measure such as overall increase in prices or the increase of the cost of living in the country. No, oh wait, no, there's more. This increase, this increase in prices can make people live very fast. Can make people, can make people to live very fast? Yeah. I don't get you. Right? What do you mean by this increase in prices so, yeah. can make people live very fast? Even the smallest amount, like one dollar increase, can make people to lose their daily lifestyle. Because... I, I honestly don't know where I need to think again. Okay, when you say this, I I presume uh, you're saying that this thing increase in prices can make people to to spend and and not live fast, not very fast. Eh? 
That means they spend the money like nobody business, but because of the increase in inflation of the price of goods, their salary and the money that they earn cannot meet the high demands, the high prices. So as a result, the things move very fast, they cannot catch up. No, I think I was going to say like, something like helping out like, it's like even prices, because something like when I saw the S more, right, I, was, I would think it's like, Xbox. Yeah, Xbox. You say Xbox. Xmall. Oh, Xmall. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Because like uh, I think I was meant to say like price like donation as small as one dollar can also help increase in like like help increase. Like, actually, I'm not very sure. Okay, what I'm what, to what. Say. Can you and Han Ling and Yi Do you know recently? Do you if you if you watch TikTok ah uh, or Facebook or Instagram ah? Uh, do you know got this? Opposition party in Malaysia uh, was telling the voters, hey, uh, like no, seriously. Okay. So I watched the TikTok, uh, exactly what Kenny was saying. You know, why should I go to Malaysia working when I, my exchange rate is $1 to $3? I don't mind uh, if you tell me Malaysia is $1 to Singapore, $3, then I will go to Malaysia and work. Hello. Then you tell the guy, no, honey, your next life, uh, your next life. Maybe your next children life uh, also have to wait. Then the other one say, maybe your grandchildren also have to wait. Wow. I tell you. <laughs> wow. Then, uh, can you, you boy, hey, honey, this will affect you, no. Because if really Malaysia were to do well uh, and one to one dollar, uh, Halin, Ibo, and Ken, you have to say uh, goodbye to your wife and children, say, Papa, you to Malaysia. I'm not against Malaysia, uh, please, seriously. I have a lot of relatives in Malaysia. Mm -hmm. But you know, the guy that's saying like that, uh, Ken, you remind me of the story, uh, Ken, you. One dollar is three dollars. Who, who would want to go to Malaysia and work so hard and then come back with less money? Do you Ken, you do this? Right? So we all know what happened that country is, but I, honestly, I will bless Malaysia's people, seriously. Right? I always tell my Singaporeans, friends and students, don't be show off. Always must eat humble pie. These people come to Singapore to work is to make the country better and live better. Please show respect to everyone who come to Singapore. Then your life will be better. Don't go and say, hey, you're Malaysian, go back to your country. You're China, go back to your country. You're India, go back to your country. Don't ever say that. You have no right. And I don't like to catch any one of you do say that. I'm telling you, I'll give you a really a hard time. Sure, sure, if I do say like, it, like return to China, right? That would be kicking myself out of the country. No, 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 the parents, you the parents, you the parents, Okay, to build a family here, to build a business here, to build a career here, to build your children to study here. I really appreciate and thank God. Okay, I'm telling right to your face. Uh. Except my grandfather, uh, for my mom onward, okay, my mom and my dad uh, are all born in Singapore. Okay, really born in Singapore. And, and my auntie and uncle are born in Pontian. Then you, you know Pontian, right? Pontian. Uh, Pontian. Uh. You may know no. what? I think I, I think I know. Uh, your parents are more. Pontian is somewhere in Malaysia. Right? Correct, correct. Yes. Uh, Johor there, I think. So it's next, uh, next yeah. me, me and my wife are born in Singapore. Okay? Okay? And now my my, my children, my children are born in, in, in Singapore. Uh, whether those illegal children born in other country, uh, okay, I'm not sure. It's okay. You <laughs> will oh? Uncle, are you a child? Okay. People will be oh oh I didn't hear anything. So joke aside, you see, my children are born in Singapore, and without all these people who come here, you see, why the government build the ideologies? Honey, back to you. Why do you think Singapore encourage foreigners or people to come to Singapore? Back to you. Why is that ideology? Okay, so um I I, I can't remember where I've heard this or seen this. But there was there was some it wasn't too long ago, but they tell a lot of the, the saying goes the people of Singapore are the brains, the foreigners are the hands. Whoa, I, like I can't remember. 
Oh, who say that? I like that. I like that. This I can't one. remember. Hey, go and find out for me. The, the what, what? The brain, what? The people of Singapore are the brains. The foreigners are the hands. Oh, the head protect the brain, no? So without the head, uh, the brain will be sayonara means goodbye. Yeah, and like, and like the head also supports a lot of things from the outside. I love the, I love the metaphor, man. Seriously. I love the metaphor and uh, if you can use it as personifications to like more I, like, maybe I could have came out with that by myself I'm not sure well but... done well done you can <laughs> claim it if you cannot find anyone can claim it but well well said I, I will use that and it's true huh? and I will say um, the foreigners are also like the hand and the legs huh, to build this country yeah, seriously I mean seriously uh, Han Ming Tian Yu Yipo will you go and walk on the roadside da, 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 da. Uh, I go and, go, and, go, and, go and dig here and dig there and go and plant tree like, no what uh, Seriously, sometimes I go downstairs, I see the town council, those are cleaner, okay? You know what I do to them? I will do this. And I really bow. No? They were so surprised to see me do that. No? Until a few times, they thought maybe first time. And then I, every time I would see them, I would bow and bow and bow. Until uh, they reciprocate. No, honey. They also bow back. Yeah. Oh, morning, sir. Hey, morning. Because they are Indian, are they? Then some of them ah, from, ah, okay. That you know, would definitely make sense. Usually in the morning when I see the uh, guy sleeping in the just in the morning. Yeah, yeah. That's how. At least you see, then you know, uh, recently I went to work in, in uh, Jalan Pemimpin, right? So you know for security guard, ma? Then the ah, security yes. guard are Indians, right? So when I do this, uh, they just, hello, hello. Then every time morning I go until like that, they, they season already, I'll tell you, they will do this. Morning, they say, oh, uh, happy Dibabali, you Hindu, right? Yes, yes, happy Dibabali. Because some Indians are not Hindu, uh. they don't celebrate the Bali. You know, some Indians they celebrate. Um, maybe some they are Indian Muslim. You know, Indian Muslim, right? So Indian Muslim they don't celebrate uh the Bali. And then there are some Indian they celebrate Christian, Christianity. So yeah, you see, just like I'm Chinese, right? I may be a Muslim Chinese, uh, correct now. I don't celebrate celebrate uh maybe uh Duan Wu Jie, Zhong Qiu Jie, right? Right. And then there's a joke. Ah, uh, sorry. Uh, you know, recently put thing all uh, the Korean got hundred fifty people die, right? They become Halloween already. Get a joke. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I I, I haven't actually read into detail, but I've seen the incident. But they say actual Halloween. Halloween. No, 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 yeah, they both they both the dress up. They both the dress up. The dress up. A lot, a lot of people, I saw on the news. They say the place was very small, but and then there was like at least one million people on the street, and then yeah. The 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 the, the, the street now. So the hundred fifty really literally become Halloween already. Yeah, wait, Jay, you know the other one, the bridge one. I'm not sure where. Into India, India, yeah, India. Yeah, yeah. 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 The, the, the shake, 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 shake. I the whole bridge. One, one fifty year old bridge. Actually, the bridge, uh, and if you let Singapore government to do and like people like you to do, I can tell you the bridge will be hundred percent secure. Do you know? Ipo, you trust me, For now, ma? for now, maybe. Uh, 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 Ipo, you don't believe that uh, if I let you do the bridge, you you okay? I'll tell you, you Ipo is an engineer, ah. Uh, uh, excuse me, is this bridge built by Yipo? Yes, okay, never mind. I swim across the river, I don't cross. <laughs> no, sure, but it really depends. Like maybe and now it's gonna like last long, but then if it's like the 150 year old bridge, then it's very hard to say that. Nonsense, nah, you, I'm not saying you nonsense, nonsense. They cut short the material, lah, bro. Supposed to put one ton of bricks, a uh, uh, cement, they put half a ton, uh, please. Come on, bro. Calculation. Come on, bro. Bro, India, no, 5,000 years of history. You mean they never built their bridge in their life, man? How come they can build Taj Mahal? They can't even build a bridge, ah? What piang, eh? Don't laugh, leh, eh? Do you mean, you, huh? Jiao si ren, ah? This is very obvious, it's a crime, ah, corruption, ah. Cutting down materials. 你走在台湾吗？他们起一个屋子啊，那个皮呢，全部放那个one supposed to put cement uh, they put you know the one point two five liter the sprite bottle and put it inside and cement it uh. When the oh, building... oh oh yeah, I remember. Was it? I think you told us before, right? Was it the war one where it was like plastic paper or something? Yeah, yeah, it's not war one in Taiwan. <laughs> you see, 偷工减料. Come on, cannot be. And then do you know Halloween? Huh? You know what is Halloween, huh, Yipo? Do you celebrate Halloween? Han Ling and Tianyu. Celebrate as in if you if like in a religious sense, I don't think that's it. Hello. Sorry. Huh? I'm a Christian, huh? I don't celebrate. But this Halloween, huh? 
it's all about gimmicks, about marketing, uh, their ideas, you see? Nipo, can you? It's about if you're gimmicks. using it for money, then I all think right, you want. It's won. marketing, uh, bro. It's, it's marketing. And do you know why, why is the purpose of Halloween? You know what is a Halloween means? Uh? You don't know, right? Tomorrow, I'll explain again uh, in case anyone wants to know. Uh. Can you, Han Ling and Nipo? Halloween is on the 31st of October, okay? Mm -hmm. 1st of November is All Saints Day. You know, it's All Saints. Uh. It's Saint something Michael. about God, right? Yeah, Jesus. all St. Michael, St. Peter, St. John, St. Saint, Saint, uh, Saint Saint Thomas. I'm pretty sure it's all just your state. Halloween, but Christian, right? No, no, no. Can you? We are. No, no, no. Okay. You, 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 you confuse it. Okay. All the saints, are. Uh, we respect them uh, on the 1st of November because they are saints. They are anointed as saints. Like St. Peter, St. Duke, St. Michael, St. Thomas. These are all the disciples of Jesus Christ. Okay? As a Catholic, as a Christian, I just met my friend this afternoon. He is also a Christian, but not Catholic. Ask him, do you celebrate Halloween? No. Halloween are people who are right, so-called anti-Christians. Okay? That's why they have this greet here. Oh. A day before the sin. So they want to counter-attack us. Uh Oh, but I, I'm pretty sure. Re respect but... the dead people for what? I mean, sorry, I especially don't ghost. Unless you respect the dead people for my ancestors, yes, I agree. Uh, Tima, how can you correct now? Uh? But uh, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure we celebrate Halloween because it's uh, it's like a, a day we get to dress up and then go treat. Yeah, the then they call it the treats of treats, right, Tima? Yeah. You want treat yeah. you or treats? Hey, hello. These are all the Americans. You know, this month they got on the twenty sixth of November. They call it the Thanksgiving Day. You know, Thanksgiving. Huh? Oh, Thanksgiving. I heard Thanksgiving. Thanks, thank you. The thank you. Thanksgiving. Uh, day. Yeah, we don't celebrate much. So these are all the American people. They do all these things. They are so-called anti-Christians and don't like Christians. Then they change it. You see? Nipo, Han Ling, Tianyu, ideologies. Because my students say, Uncle, then how about we the the ghost man, right? The whole month or seven months. That one is different really, huh? That's the origin of the origin, right? We got the history of the seven months, right? Right? If you look at the China history, it's different. Halloween is just people go and, and come up with their ideas. Okay, it's not in the Bible. Sorry. Uh. <laughs> it's not in the Bible. So, this is, you see? So, please. Different ideologies. Don't get mixed up with children, please. So, if you tell some Christian, like people like us, like, hey, come celebrate Halloween. No, uh. I don't celebrate Halloween. Halloween is for marketing purpose, uh. like you're right not in you to, to earn some uh, commercial things like that. No. You know, how can you feel uh, when you respect all the saints uh, and then suddenly you go and go for Halloween? Uh? You're slapping yourself. Tima, Tima, Ipo. So you see different ideology again. Okay, back to your deflation, please. Uh, what's it? Oh, deflation is the reduction of the level, general level of prices in the economy. economy. Deflation and inflation have complete opposite meaning. Inflation is a situation in an economy where prices of goods and services increase, increases, whereas in oh wait, uh, purchasing power of people decreases. Whereas in deflation, there is a downward movement of the general price level of goods and services. Though both words sound similar, they have completely different meaning. Yeah, so deflation and inflation. In fact, deflation is the worst, really. You know, the if you take a balloon, you deflate the balloon, means sayonara, right? you cannot use already. Like you deflate a football, deflate a basketball, that means it's gone already. You do not have the air, you do not have the power, you do not have the sustainability inside. That means it's like gone already. The country are in deep shit already. All right, so back to this one. So somebody has, must change their ideology already. Recession? Recession is a significant decrease in economic activity spread across the economy, lasting more than a few months. Normally visible in real GDP, real income, em employment, industrial production, and wholesale retail sales. This impacts the whole world due to the, the economic activity of the world. Declining of the world is declining. Wait, this can lead to depression. 
Okay, so once you have recessions, uh, you must stop. It's just like you realize uh, how Lei and Tian Yu and Yibo, it is like, like cancer. No? This one is stage one. This one is stage two. This one is stage three. This one is the last stage really. Oh, depression is the last stage. Remember, if you study history, you know, right? Depression is the cause, it's one of the factors that caused World War II. And it's one of the factors, right, Yibo, that Hitler used this as a good excuse, right? To mm -hmm. create their third right, the Nazis power. Back to you, depression, can you? Depression is a mood disorder that can cause a persistent feeling of sadness and loss of interest. Also called major depressive disorder or clinical dis depression. It affects how you feel, think and behave and can lead to variety lead to a variety of emotional and physical problems. Depression can lead to suicidal thoughts and maybe even cause some people to commit suicide. Very true, I tell you seriously, like recently uh, in 2008 and 2009, uh, uh, honey, if you want, you can type the, the lamb, the, the, the what brothers are the lemons, the lemons, lemons brother, lemons, lemons, not lemon. lemon. Yeah, not lemon, it's, a, uh, it's spelled as L-E-I-H-M-O-N-D, lemons brother. Are these two Lemons oh, brothers? L-E what? Sorry? I can't remember the spelling, but it's the, the, the Lemons brothers that caused the downfall of the collapse of the stock exchange. And then the Matt Off, uh, the uh, Matt Off, Mr. Matt Off, who's also a Jewish, who go and do all the stock exchange thing and support a lot of money. And now a lot of businessmen, big timer, who keep buying the share and end up the share is empty shell buying a lot of uh, 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 bonds, B-O-N-D, and end up is nothing and becomes empty. And then suddenly when they when they go on to collect money, there's nothing inside. Wow, can you imagine that? Uh, all these CEOs are pump, pumping in millions of dollars. Eh? And this man off just went in for the jail of 20 years or what? But his money is his. Eh? And he can pass to his next generation. Maybe. And because of that, uh, can you, a lot of uh, big timers, uh, big shot CEOs uh, all jump down, commit suicide. Turn the commit suicide. Because they cannot pay, it means uh, they're going to affect their whole entire business. Eh? The whole company collapse, no. Seriously, no. A 100 years old business can collapse. The, the, call the uh, you just put uh, economic crisis by Lemon's brother. Okay, and man of, and this guy. You need to know uh, if you're going to study econs for your A levels. You need to know all this because uh, there is a cycle. And this cycle is so important that if we do not hold it properly, yeah. Uh, Okay, we have different sets of ideology and you know what happened? You said L-E-H-M-A-N. You, you type in the, the, the Zoom. Now, this is the one, uh, guys, you have to take note about unemployment, undesirable goods and services, uncontrollable prices. Yeah, that's right. The Lemons Brothers, this one, correct. Yeah, this Lemons Brothers. So this one is was... Uh, uh, Lemons Brothers is, you know, it's historical business model, but because... The people who took over the business end up become uh, upside down. Okay, if you got time, you read this. Uh, okay, uh, it happened in 2008 and 2009. It was very bad, seriously affected. Uh. Okay, a lot. Of, so this is Now the unfavorable trade terms with country, unprotected businesses. You see, that's where all these are uh, children. Then you and Hanlin, you need to know these five items by who or by who, in social study. Okay, and of course um. You know, right? Uh, if, well, don't mind, I put in uh, inject a bit of history here. Uh, because of unemployment, Hitler was very fed up, right? Because the Jews took away the job, right? So if they saw, right, you're not happy, correct? Uh? Then the undesirable goods and services, remember the collectivization and uh, this uh, industrialization, right? Right, the Russian study, right? right? Then the uncontrollable prices, which leads to the depressions and hyperinflation that caused the World War II. Um, favorite traits and terms with country. Uh, this is the one out uh, uh, three of you, especially Ken Yu and Han You'll be learning imperial. Um, you will be learning World War II Japanese in uh, militarism and imperialism uh, for Japan's uh, history. Because US, I'm uh, sorry, Japan want to trade with US, but because they give them the unfavorable terms and conditions, they left him with no choice of Han The Japanese have decided to to fight and took over resources of Manchu War. You know it's Manchukuo, right? The Manchuria, right? China. So that is why. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why they start to attack China. So you can see, yeah, 
is one leading to another. It's a domino effect. And it's not only domino effect. It's not only change effect. No. It's like a predictable effect. Leh. Seriously, if you know you're eating an expired food, nah, you're going to expect to have diarrhea, right? Ma? To have vomiting, right? Ma? It's, it's, it's an expected effect. And, and sorry, ah, how come you know there's an expected effect? Why do you not wait for the Yeah, there are people who do that. Those people who can predict, ah, that's why they always say, save for winning day. Uncle Raymond's are very poor in finance. So I've been my whole life, I've been owning debts and debts and debts, paying loans and loans. I'm not so sly enough to involve in shares, uh, buying property. Uh. I have friends uh, who are around my age, uh, it's already millionaire. I always, I always. Yo, 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 yo. Serious, serious. Can I, was, I get some of that million? Can I have some of those? No, there are some of my friends that are really very, very good in um, managing finance. So my children always disturb me. Daddy, you got so many degree and diploma, you're still a poor man. <laughs> I'm poor in financially, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Okay. So I have to admit, so you see, not everyone is successful in one way or another. Right? If today I'm a businessman or I earn a lot of money, I won't be sitting here teaching students. Right? Let's be honest. I'll be very selfish. Why should I teach Han Ning? No one. Lah. Who is Han Ning? I don't care. Lah. I will scan you. I'd rather teach my own children and make money, correct? Lah. So instead, I might be poor. I always think this way. So I like my student and children to be rich, law. Correct now. Isn't it better? That's my thinking. Right? Some people say, oh no, it's so stupid. Uh, you cannot make it. So you say like that. No, I don't care how you say uh, I don't earn my living to whoever say to me. Correct now. Right, Ibo. Like last time I used to read like this. Unemployment, undesirable goods and services. My student, my classmate will tell me, Raymond, you got F O like you. You C C B like you. You L J like you school me. And sorry, uh, Ipo, those people who are scolding me. Uh, today I'm sitting here giving teaching. Uh, where are they? Uh? They're either in Changi prison, they die, they don't know do what. You see? So my during my generation, Ipo, people cannot take it the way I talked. So that means uh, I'm ahead of them already 20 years. So before you starting that time with me, uh, you see, I use all funny ideas to teach you. Uh. In school, you cannot do that. You will get, get attacked. Because the Singapore education is to get paper only, to be honest. So they, the government realized really, now I have to change, to give you a PDA, to, to even go to um, internship. You know what is internship, right? You go to work for people. Uh, see, now they start to realize that not all the textbook. I'm telling you, Ipo, I've been working in the outside world for 20 years. Those teachers who are good at uh, teaching that, nothing wrong. Uh, so that we have different ideology, nothing wrong, okay? Back to you. Can you, uh, can you read reading? Uh, so let's, uh, hunting ideology. French philosopher Des Destour de Tracy originally coined the term ideology at the end of the 18th century to create a science that would provide a rational foundation for the study and critique of ideas. Instead, the term has become extremely challenging and changeable concept. The term ideology is used to refer as a, to a system of mutually dependent ideas, principles, traditions, gatherings, and even folklore that functions as a routine frame of reference. These routine ideas are taken for granted. No, actually, uh, I put it this, uh, it's just to tell you all, uh, this is only 18th century. You know Socrates, uh, the Greek philosopher, thinker Socrates, Plato, and you know who is Sun Tzu, right? You know who is Kong Tzu, right? Correct, no? Tzu lao fu tzu yi wai la, huh? <laughs> All these are already a Greek thinker. They have their own different ideology. True not? In fact, without them, uh, are you Confucians? Confucians is Kongzi, right? You see, Confucius tell you, uh, Di zi gui, you see, you know, all these things. Ideology is so important, uh, children. Seriously, don't look at it. Uh. Now, let's be honest. Let's be honest, very simple. You know, two plus two, two times two is four, correct? Uh? It's, it's straightforward one. You don't need to, I, the idea is there already. But the thing is that, how do you know whether um, certain thing is good for you, certain thing is no good for you? That's why they say one man's meat is another man's poison. One man's treasure is another man's trash. Which is not wrong, right? Three months, seriously. Right? But gentlemen, you have to take note, like you are a big boy already. So when you have ideology, simple. I always like to use this example. Huh? So 
your son uh, at night, 10 o'clock, want to eat ice cream. Okay? Then all of you, uh, your wife are doctors. Uh, doctors, uh, okay? Then your wife say, mind, eating ice cream will not, things, will not be so bad. Then your mommy, uh, your mommy say, 儿子, uh, 不要给弟弟, 不要给宝贝孙子吃 ice cream. So tell me, honey, how are you going to do it? <laughs> Oh, so I remember you asked us this before, but I think honestly we've I'll... asked this before, okay. Honestly, I will follow I'll follow the mother. Now, now you see, uh, wait, 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 wait. Now you see, uh, I asked you was maybe six months ago, right? But now you're six months, you see your ideology may change. It was two weeks ago. It wasn't even six. I don't even think it was one day. Oh, really? Uh? Hey, was it, was, it was two weeks ago. It was two weeks ago. I remember uh, uh, very recent. No, no, it was because we were talking about exams. Like uh, just slightly earlier. So it's definitely so like two, three mean? weeks. You tell me, who will you listen? Uh, mother. Mother. Honey, right? Same, same. Because she definitely have a lot more experience. Mother. So she definitely know a lot more. Nipo also mother. Personal right? experience. Uh, yeah. Then your wife will tell you to sleep in the kitchen already. Lah. Sleep, let's sleep. Lah. Then I'll just go to my mom's house. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> no, lah. your idea is to please both of them. Lah. Correct now. So because your wife also got mothers that side while you got your mother in law, correct? Or you also have to please her, do they? Right? So, this is where it means okay, what are the types of ideologies? Ipo? There are two main types of ideologies political ideologies and epistemological. Very hard, huh? Go ahead and find out what is epistemological. Epistemological, okay, huh, Ling? Can type the meaning and share with them. It's something with your big ideas, big things. Already explained, eh? An example as epistemology, come. Ideology. What, uh, what is an example of epistemology? An example of epistemology is that is a thesis paper on the source of knowledge, uncountable, the branch of philosophy dealing with the study of knowledge, theory of knowledge, asking such questions such as what is knowledge? How is knowledge acquired? What do people know? How do we know what we know? You see, this is epistemology. When epistemology, the word, first of all, is so difficult to pronounce. Second of all, if you ask me again, I also got problems with make the spelling. Okay. Right. Third of all, the definition is already so profound, so professional, and so deep-rooted to understand that epistemology is not just a set of theory, you know, gentlemen. Okay, it's uh, like a universal, really, yeah? it's like a universal answer then. You see, can I, when I say a universal answer, I'll tell you, what is the first thing that comes to your mind? So you got so the Da'an. What is the first thing that comes to your mind, Tianyu? Honestly, I do not know what's the meaning of it. Okay, never mind. Uh, I'll just, uh, I'll, but I'll just assume it's something like everyone should know. Sorry, right, again. Okay. Everything anyone should know. Okay, Haling, what about you? Sorry. How about you? A bit laggy. A, a universal, uh, universal things. Uh, it's a universal answer. SP terminology is a universe. What does this person say when he says it's a universe answer? Universal? It could be an answer to everything. It could be an explanation to everything. Very good. Thank you. And tell you, you're not wrong. What do you say again? Tell you, tell you say. Uh, you every, say everyone should know. Okay. How about Yipo? Like, how do I say? Like, well known. Like, well known. you're supposed to know it like in your subconsciousness. You realize that uh, when I ask you this question, uh, you think, well, beyond it, universal. Oh, okay, okay. Must think very big and profound. Hello. Why don't you just say universal is a, a space, right? That nobody know how is the, where is the end, correct now? There's no end, right? Universal got no entry, right? Do you know where's the ending? Do you know where's the next uh, light years galaxy or the star, correct now? So don't think things that are so complicated, children. First thing comes to your mind is universal is a is a very big thing. It's like a never ending story. Yes, I agree with you. Can you? Is you need to know universal, right? And the second thing, what you say is that it's something you need to go through and find out. Yes, because universal is like you couldn't find the unknown to find the known. And what you say again? I forgot. 
like you're yeah, supposed to know in, in like subconsciously. Correct, because subconsciously you know that when you say about now, example like knowledge, you need to know what is knowledge. Right? But if I ask you to write an essay about one word of knowledge, 1,000 words, how are you going to write? Huh? People you might say, uncle, why should I write this? Hey, hello. My question to you, uh, you're going to university, right? You need to write what? That is epistemology. Do you know what? Uh, I just realized uh, one times two uh, can write 10 pages of answer. Like, before. One times two only uh, can have to have 10 pages of explanation if you want to score a distinction in math. Like. That's very ridiculous, right? Oh, oh honey, that's very ridiculous. 10 pages to write uh, uh, to explain one times two is two. That is university, you see? That is epistemology. You need to know. It's already, I know what one times two is two. Why must I need 10 pages to explain this one times two? Three months, ten you. Correct now, Han Ling and Yipo. Why? Uh, that is <laughs> You're making me uh, get, get, you're giving me trauma of math. One times two is just one times two. How can you get uh, how many <laughs> two y squared plus one? No, can you? I, I didn't like to you. You learn calculus. No, I'm guys, guys, I, I really, I, I, I swear to you guys, uh, you think I'm cooking out a story, right? If I can, uh, I bring my ex-student, uh, he's an autistic guy. Okay, and why, why suddenly I raise my hand? Well, you really can capture my hand. It's probably, no, no, it's probably because you've like done this or like at any corner of the screen. I, no, yeah. I once held my hand like this for like a they, minute they can, or so and it happened. They can take down, never mind. Uh, later, I take down the hand, uh. So what happened? Uh, my this student, uh, he got a distinction in math. Uh. Okay, Hanley, you give me 1.2753 times 2.1. Straight away, 10 seconds, he can give you an answer without a calculator. I'm serious. Uh. He's that good. Uh. I'm serious. He's that good. Well, okay. I've seen the what got talent uh, human calculator. Oh, yeah. Yeah. In fact, he's teaching my, my son, my student now for O and A level. But he's very yeah. good, no? He don't, he don't use uh, pay now and pay now, but he's damn good in math. And he really showed me, I'll tell you, he literally used the notebook and showed me uh, about 10 pages answer of one times two. I tell you, by the time he showed me third page, uh, page number three, I say, stop it. I don't want to see already. Because he got page one, page two, page three, and he showed me the last page. Uh, by the time he explained to me third page, uh, I, uh, my, my mouth coming up bubble already. <laughs> well, I'm foaming already. <laughs> so you see, that is called espionage in math, ma, right? ma. So make a do you have deep understanding the. You see, to go for university study, uh, now uh, you have to build your foundation with you. If everyone can go university, uh, then it's not called university. Maybe. If everyone can pass university with first class honor, top honors, top scholar, then it will not cost scholarship. Maybe, right? You need years and years of espionology. Okay, and the, the pedagogy to learn something, to know. So gentlemen, from today onwards, whatever you can learn, always ask questions, why, why, why? It's no, no question is stupid. It's only you're stupid if you don't ask questions. The more you ask, seriously, there's no stupid question. Why must we have sex? Why must we urine? Why must we shit? I mean, seriously, why must we cannot say vulgar word? I mean, seriously, I don't stop anybody to still say vulgar words. Because sometimes some people saying vulgar words will release their stress. I'd rather that he, he score vulgar words than take a knife and go and kill people. Do now. Come on. I know it's wrong to say vulgar words. Definitely it's wrong. But honestly, I think all of you, including myself, will have said some one way or another, some vulgarity words. If you don't say that, I call you San Yi Po, San Han Ling. Send can you <laughs> let's be honest okay by, by uttering some vulgarity doesn't mean you are the bad person but this is how we perceive people we are not here let's be honest okay yeah, yeah it, uh, it's also how you use it it's like if you use it to express something like your feeling then it's fine but if you use it against sound like f you no my like, dear then... if you want to say what the f day how come it's so f up why is this F to me? It's still wrong, no? I, I'm telling you to your face out, it's still wrong, wrong, wrong. Totally wrong. Cannot, cannot. I'm telling you, cannot do that. You are not allowed to say by right. Seriously, nobody would like to, hey, can you? You don't tell me your five years old son will start, hey, dad, what an F day, man. 
Come on, what the F are we going to do? Huh? At the moment you wake up, you F all the way at night. You want, man? No, what? Uh, no, no, sure. No, I mean, he's damn smart. He's very smart. He's smart. His IQ is 290 and above. He's very smart. So, how? No, no, no. You, see, you, see, you see that that's, that's something that we Asians really like to do is profit. What? A profit. Profit? I don't get you, sorry. Yeah. Never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Sorry, no, no, sorry. I need to know what I mean. The Asian parents are what? Inside joke, inside joke. Asian parents, are you saying Asian parents are hunting? Yeah, we like to profit as much as we can, you know what I mean. Uh, in a way, I know roughly, like, okay, you want to, you know, it's, it's not, you know, we, we have a culture to uphold, okay, seriously. All right. Uh, honestly, a good person should not, do you see any leader like Lee Kuan Yew, Lee Sen, don't say the F word? Maybe they do, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Simon we don't know behind the screen, but uh, behind the screen, the toilet, I don't know, okay? I don't want to put the doubts on them or anybody. I respect them. But what, what we are talking about, the ideology is that, is this vulgarity, con uh, are we saying that if this person say vulgarity, if we are going to condemn him or her? Is this person who have a whole body tattoo, are we going to condemn him or her? Do we have the rights to do that? Uh, okay. So 13 synonyms, antonyms, okay? Idiomatics, expressions, and related words for ideology like belief, philosophy, yeah, ideas, doctrine, uh, take note, faith, creeds, culture, dogma. Take note of this word dogma, uh, seriously. Uh, uh, it came out in one of the comprehension passage, dogma, ideas, outlook. You know, got one person tell me, uh, Han dogma, you mean the dog got the mama? Sorry, sorry. You know the dogma, right? This word dogma. So one of my students. No, say, I've actually never seen and seen or encountered it. Oh no, no, then you know what I say. You mean the dog, the mama, is it? The bitch here. Yeah. What I tell you, we are laughing. You mean the bitch know about ideology? Say what the hell? Why are you talking? Because you say dogma, dogma, dog the mama, the bitch, <laughs> hippo. So you can analyze dogma, bitch. Understand ideology? Oh my goodness, who the hell he can think like that? And you know what? You cannot say the word bitch. But very funny, uh, in, a, in a grammar, we got the, the parents, right? The parents and young, right? Okay, the, the male dog is called a dog. The female dog is called a bitch, right? And then the baby dog is called puppy, right? So how can you say bitch is, is, a, is a vulgarity? But if you are right, not then you Exactly. If you, if I, it, it, it definitely depends on the way you use it. I, sure. I, don't, I, think, I think when you say outside, uh, uh, not much people take, you know. No, tell you, tell you. If you say certain words, you say to people, if, if let's say, uh, if someone call that person, you are a bitch, okay? It's considered <laughs> vulgar, man. Maybe he has <laughs> enough of his non her nonsense. You get me now? Maybe that girl has been bullying. Yeah, sure. Much. Like I say, it it depends on how, like Correct. where you use it. Correct. Like what I say for your effort and stuff, it really depends on where you yes. use it. If you use it but, to express your feeling, then I don't happening. understand why these people condemn people who are saying this. You mean his whole life never said this word before in their life? Maybe yes, uh, maybe yes. Correct, uh, people. Maybe true enough, he never uttered a single word like that. Okay. Well, Swan is a sin, it's a sin. No, I don't, I don't, I don't, I think even people who are like, God, like. Except God, like, huh? Yeah, yeah. They, 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 they like, how do I say? They, they pray to God. I think they definitely have seen oh, a bad oh, one. I, I did that. Uh, I've never uh, seen in my life. No, I, I did that. I'm, I'm telling you, uh, uh, you see, I raised my hand again. I, uh... <laughs> but it was so cool to see that happen real time. Oh, I, I need to try that. Let me move this slightly away first. Whoa, wait, 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 he just doing the Hitler salute. No, no, no. Why does it work for you, but not for me? Wait, maybe I need to st go underneath a bit. The Hitler salute. <laughs> wait, why does it work for you? <laughs> See, because you're, you're respecting Hitler, that's it. That's the reason. Hey, thank you, thank you. I, I <laughs> okay, okay, I'll switch my hand. Hey, hey thank you. I ever say that. No, what? I was praying to God, I'll tell you. Huh? I was praying to God. I, I really said, after the effort, word, say, why, why my life is so effed up? Why, why must be me? Uh? But after a while later, well, the more I pray, uh, I began to get away, eliminate all this word. No? Because you know why, can you? Because the Satan is playing trick on me. Get it? The Satan wants to oh, get Satan. away from me from God. Get it now? 
Mm. So to be honest, our children, if you want to be a Christian, uh, the first, I won't say the first person uh, to stop you, uh, the first thing uh, that thing to stop you is the Satan. The Satan will not want you to get close to God. True not. It's just like Yipo, you, you like this girl, and that, that guy also like this girl. The first thing is that he will do his best to make sure that you will not get the girl. Uh, something like that. Okay, but anyway, Ipo will not find a girlfriend one. Uh, don't worry. <laughs> uh, Ipo is going to kill me. Again. What the hell are you saying, you bitch? <laughs> okay, it's a bit of a... I personally go to your house and bomb you. Mm. <laughs> Emotional damage. Okay, all right. The purpose of an uh, ideology of education is, okay, let me read to the class. Huh? There is no one single definition for what education really is. Okay, so is that what is education? Why must we have educations? Why do we need educations? Let's read. Huh? Experts and scholars from the beginning have viewed and commented about education in different ways. So there's the introduction, huh? the AIMS. Huh? The definition mostly agrees upon was that education is an acquisition of passing of skill, behavior, or knowledge from an institution to another. This is called education. I'm educating. So sorry, ah, uh, Hanlin, can you and Yipo? So what is the difference? Uh, can you help me, Hanlin? What is the difference between education, training, teaching, and learning? Are they the same? So the word. I mean, uh, I don't. I, I'm educating my son. I'm teaching my son. I'm tutoring my son. I'm helping my son to learn. Okay. Uh, so what is the difference? You get uh, Okay. So all of you know. Wait. What is the difference? I'm seriously. Which one comes first? If, I, if you tell your son, can you, your son got um, 90 upon 100, okay, much better than you way back your math, okay? So your son now is a math genius. Which word will you use on him? Well, son, you're very clever. You're brilliant. You're intelligent. You're awesome. You're genius. You're fantastic. Educator. Educator. Uh, I, you're educated. No, you don't use educator. Okay? You will not use educator. You're already educated enough to score 90 upon 100 already better than you, can you? Right. So you have to use more difficult word, bombastic word, good words to praise him. Right. Because he's already one level up lady. So that's education. So Hanling, what do you think? What's the difference between education, learning, teaching, or tutoring? Okay, okay. So I I I I just can't put my mind on where the difference is, per se. But then all three words have a different use in a different context. That's, yeah, all. Definitely. That's, all, that's all I can put in words. Come on, the three words. Education, teaching, learning, and tutoring. I feel like teaching, right? You can say it for like general stuff, but education is more towards studies. And then it's like tutoring is like can be for anything also. It can be like for mixed. Okay, how about Yipo? What do you think? And, and maybe you can add one word on how they mentoring. You know it's mentoring, right? Mentor. Mentoring is, I'm pretty sure mentoring is like you're looking over someone, is it? Yeah, yeah, looking over someone also, but it's so involved in teaching, right? Correct now. Advising, giving feedback, right? But that one's advising, though. Advising no. is to do right? I advise you not to do that. I'm teaching you the right way, ma. I, I love the agreement. Yeah, fair you. point, fair point. But I feel like teaching, right, is more like overall stuff. Like a lot of overall, like I'm teaching him a lesson. You don't hear people like school each other and like, like your, Ooh, your son yeah, school yeah. to me, your, yeah, son, yeah. your parents school is saying, oh, I'm tutoring him a lesson. That It sounds very weird. True. So it's definitely used in different occasions. He has a point. He has a point. He has a very good point. How about you, Ipo? But then for the others, I'm not sure, but I can only say that for, for what's that? You have done a good job already. If this is a 10 months answer, you got seven already. Ipo, what do you think? Ipo will be more stressful, huh? Because they say it's taking exam, so I have to stress. I have to, huh? I'd rather stress you now than stress you in October, correct? Huh? True now. Wait, you said taking all level already? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Next year, I'm second four. Year, my bad, yeah. my bad, bro. Ipo. Okay, can you repeat the question? I kind of forgot it. Mm -hmm. 
Sorry, sorry. Okay. Tan Ling already say it's about the concept, right? It's all that. How about you, Ipo? If you... Let me read this first, huh? you think first. Huh? This institution can either be a person, a school, a family, or even the society. If we go into the ancient meanings and the ideologies of education, it means to lead out of ignorance. In other words, education or knowledge, in this sense, was light and education brought the persons out of darkness. Of, sorry, brought the person out of the dark. The purpose and ideologies of education is therefore to bring out the potential of a person and pass on knowledge. Now, is it much clearer for the three of you? Yeah. Ipo? Mm. Do I, you don't understand. I'm thinking how to phrase my answer. It chat for us or or it is just like oh never mind. I'm drawing. I'm drawing something. He, he's okay. using oh, his uh right. hidden artistic talent to portray an image that's on yes. the level of Mona Lisa. <laughs> Soon Singapore will have a new dictator. And all right. Uh, at, at, know, least Chua, at least we know Chua won't become the next killer because he 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 know how to draw. Wait. Hey, okay, thank you. Ready? Ipo. Give up. And edu education is like an umbrella that like shoots the like so called the new year young, huh? the younger generation from. Uh, Even the handwriting, yeah, it's artistic. It's an artistic handwriting, you know what I mean? I'm using a mouse. This is a new style of art I have I'm never witnessed in my mouse life. To, to draw, okay? So I put teaching, teaching. Uh, uh, sorry, you cannot be teaching, teaching. Uh, sorry, teaching, tutoring, learning, mentoring, and uh, um, uh, learning. Learning, you uh, One more. Okay. Uh. Sorry, it's supposed to be mentoring. Wait, no, mentoring, teaching, education, learning. You put teaching twice in the thing. Yeah, so it's cute. Uh, it's training, training. Okay, never mind. Let me go through. Uh, actually, education is in a big umbrella that consists of teaching, tutoring. Seriously, without the word education. So, for example, I'm educating the whole entire citizens. When you say education, take note. Uh, the ideology is that how are we going to teach this group of people? with the skill set to learn. Once they are able to learn, we have separate certain times to tutor them according specifically to their strengths and winner of certain subject. Guys, you have to take note, because when you're going for university, you will, tell, you will, not, you will not use, I'm going to be teaching, my, my lecturer is teaching me. 
when you are in university, you're, you will not say my professor is teaching me. Uh. I'm going to learn from my professor. My, my professor is going to train me. No, uh. they, you will change to which word. Uh. Either my professor will be mentoring me or my, my professor will be tutoring me. Uh. Get it? Uh? So whichever the, the, the five person under the big umbrella itself, the education is a very profound, a different set of ethos, pedagogies, when you allow this five so-called subset uh, or main things uh, to, to train a person like you. So can you, I take you for example. When your parent teach you one plus one, is educating you to understand the number. Get it? Mm -hmm. ah, so for example, when, you, when they want to teach you, they cannot teach you because now they're getting tougher, right? Of course, when you're young, one plus one, but I'm so sorry, like myself, I cannot teach my, my daughter dy, dx, or y equals z plus algebra. I cannot teach him or her. So what happened? I get a tutor to tutor her so that she can learn. Get it now? Ah. So when she go to the next level, she's able to use the skill to train the next group of people. Get it now? To train her brother or to train someone. And then when you go, she go higher, my daughter, she's able to get... Uh, someone to mentor her by using the skill set she learned through the years of education. Make sense now? So the ideology of education is different. You know what I mean? Now? Because under the education itself, I can train a person to learn about Christianity. Uh, you know, in Singapore, there are some Muslim school, right? They don't go to school. Huh? You know, most of the yeah. Malay students, huh? they don't go to school. They will go to the mosque to learn religions. So you see, so they learn. You cannot use the education. Under learning is part of the education. Get it now, Yipo? Right. And do you know homeschool? No? You know homeschool? Uh, homeschool, I, I don't like the ideas. No, 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 no. Sure, I, I, I have a, like a schoolmate. He was homeschooled from primary one to like six all the way. Like secondary school is his like first school. He didn't even have kindergarten. He's like, he was saying that this is like a completely whole new experience for him. I don't like I, I don't like home, home school. So you see, uh, Ipo, since you got this experience, see, the first six years of his education is under this teaching, tutoring, training, and learning, correct? Who is the one? The parents. Get it? Uh? So the education that he received is totally uh, different from you, right? Correct? Uh? So when he came to secondary school, the education system is different with him. He's been teach, or can I say he's been taught like past time, uh? It's being taught by a different group of teacher to receive different type of training and learning. Correct now, under the big umbrella called education. You see, now you understand now. Education is a very powerful word. It's a super powerful word. So education is the big umbrella that is sheltering these five kids inside here to provide a long to provide three hours. Okay, uh, maybe somebody type. It's called lifelong learning. Okay, it's provide the life. And this must write down on oh, you, Han Ling and Yi Bo, because this one will use in your social study. It think you. We've actually you written know. it down multiple times already. Yeah, because I still have to emphasize this. Definitely. Okay, so can I move on now? Uh, education. So. so I give you some idea. Hopefully, you can later do your homework ideology, explain example and expression. So what is your ideology means to you? Explain to me. Give me an example. And when this example, do you feel good with this ideology? For example, if I say uh, democratic country is good uh, because they give the freedom of speech, allow people to vote, allow people to choose their leader. Explain. Ma. So example, Singapore, right? How you feel? I feel that I have a sense of belonging because it's called Lara. I feel that this is a good leadership. And R, uh, A stands for I can anti uh, the government can anticipate change and stay relevant. I feel good that my futures are well taken care of by the government. I have CPF, I got MediSafe, MediShare, I got EduSafe, I got school, I got uh, internal and external security to protect my country. And uh, I got rewards for work, work for reward, meritocracy. That everyone in this country, regardless of race, language, everyone will get EduSafe awards. And last A is that anticipate a state for all opportunity for everyone. As long as you hold a pink IC in Singapore, you will get an opportunity to do something, to get something. GST voucher, for example, CDC voucher, for example, 
a rebate for your PUB bill, has some of your Singaporean, has some of your PR. Get it now? So that is my ideology of a democratic country like Singapore. Get it? Now, let's move on to ideology here. What is ideology? Hello? Ide what is an ideology? An ideology is a set of conscious and unconscious ideas that constitute one's goals, expectations, and actions. It basically speculates about how things ought to be in the society or surrounding world. Ideologies are systems of abstract thought applied to public matters and thus make the concept central to politics. An ideology consists of a set of ideas and beliefs through which we perceive the outside world and act upon our information. Exactly, Harling, when you tell me your school that is all, you see, your school is only except pure science, right? Huh? Right. You see, that shows something, you know, Harling. This umbrella is different from Yibo umbrella in your school and Tianyu. Your school umbrella will be different. But no matter how different this education, this umbrella will shelter these five things. Correct? Huh? To protect you. So, Harling, whether you're pure science, your school must be like that. You know, some school are very funny, must do a math. Thank God. Uh, I was not born in that kind of era. That must die, die, must do a math. Then I forgo my love of history and, and English literature. Really. If I'm not true, I'll tell you, you don't take a math, right? Uh, so, okay, like, maybe, yeah. So, you go. Not, I, even if I. I don't even think I can. A math is compulsory at our school. Come on. Because our, our school is 75%. It, uh, 75, no, 65 percent end of year math, but the end of year math, uh, I a bit the, the 47. Ah, uh. so can you, uh, can so you are applicable for PoE. <laughs> so, can you, can you? So, mm -hmm. imagine you are going to Hanley School, uh, whether how, how, how good or how bad your result is. Ah, uh. Hanley, correct me if I'm wrong. That person also, that student also have to take a math uh. because you use the word compulsory, right? Hanley. So if let's say my math is so not good, I still have to force to take a math. Uh, yes, see? yes, that, that's how it works in our school. So so Ipo, so is it the education system? Huh? Correct. So the education system is different from you from KNU and from Ipo your, your side. Makes sense, huh? I hope I convince you. Huh? So it's compulsory then. I tell you, uh, if if one of your friends, one of your friends is my son, uh, and I know he's no good in a math. Uh, I will tell him, tell the principal cannot. You know what the principal will tell me? Ken, sorry, oh, this is compound. Under this education here, uh, he must take. You know what next thing the principal will say to me? Please post your son out of this school. So something wrong with the education review. That means you are forced to take last people take email. But which is not wrong. You get me now? The ideology is not wrong. Because doing AMS will really train you well. Han Ling. I'm telling you now, uh, because uh, I know you are good in math, right? Okay, uh, Ken. I'm telling you now, this afternoon, uh, Ken, Ken. I'd say I'm just above average. Not uh, Ipo, you're taking a math, right? I'm telling you right to your face now. Uh, this afternoon, I met my goddaughter's father, which is my good friend. Mm -hmm. And my goddaughter last year took, uh, set three, he took, she took a math. Uh. Actually, she cannot get into a math. Uh. She bet the principal for her to get AMF. I also went to the school and helped her and back for it. And finally, she got AMF for set three years. But the past two years, she did not do well. She failed her AMF. And I think last year, she gave up AMF during O-level. Okay? Ipo, think how ah? Harling, think how ah? Tianyu, think how ah? And guess what? Now she's in poly. She did well in the poly. Of course, she dropped AMF and passed other subjects to full poly and to e, uh, EAE. Uh. You know what's EAE? Uh? Ipo, EAE means direct entry to poly. Yeah. Uh. Guess what? Now is she's in poly. Uh, she's taking A math. She's taking A math. What? <laughs> oh, honey, I'm not surprised. Remember, Ipo, the, the surprise question. I'm not surprised. I'm surprised. I'm not surprised. Because she is not the first one. My daughter is one Wait, so are you surprised you're not surprised? Or you're not surprised that you're surprised that you're not surprised? I'm not surprised to hear that. Because my ah. daughter my daughter did not do well in A math in second. Such a child. Sure. So, so technically, you're telling me is that you can beg the principal in Sydney hard to so that they will give you that subject. Yes. All right. Then tomorrow I'm gonna go to then, school. Then you know, you know what's gonna happen. No, I'm gonna go to see, school. Uh, right, my, uh, my, my my living principal very can, hard. Can you? Can you? Can you? You see, uh, you one person go not powerful uh, 
if now you are my godson, I go with you, or your father say, Raymond, please bring your godson Tian Yu to go to the school and talk to it, or I will talk to them. That's... Because yeah, it's best, I'm... Tian Yu, Tian Yu, it's best that one of the adults follow you and convince... I, sure, I'm an adult. I, I consider myself to be an adult. You yeah. want me to show me one of my finger to you? <laughs> no, no. I, I, hope, I hope it's not this one. I hope it's this one. <laughs> okay, okay. This one, this one, this one. Okay. Or should I do another one? Is raise up hand. <laughs> okay, tell you, it's good that you get someone to go down and talk. And uh, I don't think I would, I would, there is a need to, for me to do it. Because, like I said, the subject I picked is already the one I wanted. Maybe good. I might try and see if I can get pure. No, so but see, uh, at least I took my A max uh, before I got E8. Uh. At least you have it. I don't. I yeah. can't even. Take at it at it least you took it in O levels, right? Right. I don't know. It's not my O level. I took it in A level. At least you took it in your A levels, right? Yes. But you see, uh, <laughs> actually, I can pass my A math to be honest. But I spend most of my time in my history. I mean, if you got a chance to come to my house, Wait, you I'm get A one for history. Of course, la. Of course. How about that? Yeah, it's expected. Ah, of course. That's why you can see my cupboard behind, you see. Wait, Chad, A1 for history. We, we, we can't see it. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's true. Wait, yeah, Chad, so can... next year, can you predict the, the history? I really did predict that this year already. Right? Oh, so next year, can you? No, no, not next year. The year, the, the following year. But okay. Chad, like, so, so you, th you are saying, like, within, like, eight, nine months, you, you, you just, like, it's very hard to predict what they will give out, right? You mean so that next year, old level, is it? Yeah, no, no, I mean for, like, Actually, yeah, O level. Let me say O yeah, level. Yeah, I always predict O level history for my student every year in out. Uh, but I'm pretty sure next year the the what's that? What I say what's that? The oh yeah, syllabus changes, right? All right, that's the problem. I will be very hard for me to predict. So 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 the, so the sec four next year. No no, Epo will level. not be affected. Epo will be using the old syllabus. Oh. So he is the last year. Yes. So technically, he hit like. So no, technically, we have us. already started using the new syllabus. Serious? Okay. Yeah, we are the first batch to use. We are the test reds. Oh, which which topic are you doing? Actually, now? yes, actually, we do we do history our, now. Our, so our, for, for our English is like for English, we are using the new syllabus. For for no not for the others, on, only English. English got new syllabus, man. Yeah, English. The oh yeah, there is, there is the the the. I appreciate one of the front papers. Like now, they ask they have like two boxes where like you have to tick. Like they will say like, or let's just say the first box is about math. Second box is about why math will help you in life. And then they will ask you a question like, which which like which text is referring to math? And then they will be like one text one, one text two, one text one two both, both. one neither. Yeah. Isn't it we are doing now? Level. Isn't it we are doing something like that now? Correct yeah. now. Isn't it we have been doing since last year already? Correct now. Uh, Isn't it we are already ahead of your school, whatever the MOE is doing it? Because when we are doing all these things, the MOE say no. Some parents say no, must follow exam. So you see, I don't follow as school strictly. I follow in real life. You know why? Whatever the new syllabus you are having is in real life. It's in real life. And those teachers who are not in real life teaching outside world, they will follow in textbook, which is not going to be helpful. That is why my goddaughter, who are now in poly, feel that, okay, the teachers in the poly teaching AMS is different in the teacher teaching in secondary school. And now she's more one year older, one year matured, so she can grasp the subject better. That's why it's called ideology. The last sentence tells you, ideology consists of a set of ideas and beliefs. So when you, you, when you have a more 3M, uh, 3M, when you're more matured, when you're able to manage, whenever you're motivated, nothing can stand your way. You'll go all the way out one, seriously. So whatever you see, you say, what a box, take here, take there. It's like, we are now talking like that. Instead of taking, we are talking already. We are already, I'm helping my student to deeper understanding. Like this one, eh? Like boxes, oh? Correct, no? So explain what you mean by non-aligned, okay. Epo will see this, uh, Han Ling, you're going to see this, uh, socialism, liberalism, nationalism, fascism, communism, and democracy. So ideology. So like spreading, can, can you tell me which one belongs to which one? Liberalism, then, then nationalism, and democracy will be one. Socialism, communism, and fascism will be another group. By right, fascism is a, a, a so-called a subset of socialism and communism. All right, Pima? 
Socialism, we are talking about Russia. And communism, we're talking about China. Fascism, we're talking about Italy, Mussolini. And these three, actually, fascisms are in line with Nazism. Correct, or not? Right? Yeah. And then also in line with militarism, which is Japan. Right? If you forget, very simple, you just remember Toyota, Mercedes, and Ferrari. Is it true? Toyota from Japan, Mercedes from Germany, Ferrari from Italy. So you just remember these three cars. In fact, you see, uh, after true, World true, War II, actually, actually, Volkswagen is better because it's actually developed by Nazi Party. Mm, okay. But I don't like Volkswagen. Eh. I prefer Merc and BMW. BMW oh, is oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, true, weapon. Actually. Churchill, sure, sure, you remember Coca-Cola was funded by the Nazi and promoted by the Nazi as a family drink, right? No. Yeah. It was. It was. No, I, I thought that. No Red Nazi W. So, it's, okay. So, you understand now. Uh, you see history uh, can create economy things, uh, correct? Uh? Science is science is dead. You see? But science is dead and math is dead. But our humanity subject uh, is becoming uh, very active. You see, without the human intervention, just like, you know, marketing, like, like Halloween, like that, correct now. They can make it uh, become a multi-million dollars business. Uh, true now. Because people will buy the banking. Uh. Every year, people will buy banking just because of Halloween. Huh? Can you imagine now, uh, how shit? Uh, not how shit. Imagine you are selling banking, a uh, banking farmer. Uh. And then this company, like let's say, uh, Target, you know Target in US, uh, you know Target, uh, or Walmart, you know Walmart, right? He buy 100,000 of banking. I tell you, uh, the whole year, you don't need to work with me. Correct? Uh? Imagine one banking is $50, 100,000. You know, uh, Han Lin, Tian Yu, and, and Yi Bo, you know, that every day is like rice. You know, rice. You mean, for the year, you should eat rice. It's very strange. Usually, we don't eat rice, but during Chinese New Year, we eat rice like nobody's business. Can uh. oh, okay, you imagine very long and long, right, Han Lin? Then you think you want to buy it? You want to buy it? You want to buy it? Oh, sorry. But during Chinese, you eat like hell. Can you imagine this is the thing? Lo? They call seasonal uh, business. Uh, this is where you're going to learn through your comprehension and ideology. So it's good that the system in education, and seriously, guys, you are paving the way for your next generations who are doing this education, seriously. And you should thank my generation now who is going to modify and change the whole entire education to suit in the real life. And this education has been used in back in the Western. I'm telling you seriously. The Western used it in, in the real life. Okay, so we've done this. Next. Okay, what is ideology? Okay, it's the most elusive concept in the whole of the social science. So take note, now this is very important. You don't look at this one, no. Next year, I might be talking ideology, but in the different things. But no matter how, I think I, I, you have to drive through your thick skull huh, that this ideology has to be sit inside your brain cell for the permanently as long as you can. You know why not, honey? Because uh, you're going to choose your idea, which Harvard, okay, if let's say you got Harvard, Oxford, and Cambridge, on three of you, which one will you choose? I choose first, okay? I choose first. I'll choose Oxford. I will never choose Harvard. <laughs> I'll choose Oxford. The only place I've ever heard of Harvard is crazy rich Asians. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's why I choose Oxford. Okay, 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 okay. Let, let's be real. Nobody, nobody really knows Harvard unless you're really nerdy and Harvard stuff. Harvard is one of the top universities in US, eh, my dear. Everyone knows Oxford, but no, but I don't, I don't think people, people here in Singapore are more inclined towards uh, UK. Yeah, because I honestly, yeah, uh, if I want to go for my degrees, I will go for a UK degree. But if you want to do business, business degree, I will encourage students to go for US. Yes, that is my take. And if you're talking about business and engineering or software, I will advise you to go for US. If you're talking about psychology, philosophies, doctorates, doctors, medicines, architectures, all these, uh, please go for a UK degree. Okay? <clears throat> so take note of this one here. What is the purpose of ideologies? Uh, can you, can you read to the class, please? Ideology may be seen 
ideology may be seen as a set of ideas used by a particular group as reflecting certain rea realities aimed to justify or denounce a particular way of social, political, or economic reality. Example, Marxism, liberalism, socialism, communism, arcanism, feminism. Example. Anarchy means, uh, anarchism is emperor. Okay? The imperialism is a carry on. Ideology? Ideology performs a number of crucial function. Andrew Haywood, political ide ideology. Let's read on what is the political ideology. They? They provide a perspective through which the world is understand and explained. Whether con consciously or unconsciously. Un unconsciously. Everyone subscribe to a set of particular, or, you know, a po political beliefs and values that guide their behavior and influence their conduct. Can I continue? Yeah, continue. Uh, politicians use ideas to achieve power as well as their, as well as these guide their action after power has been achieved. So you see that the guy who is Malaysian say, okay, we don't want to go to Singapore, we to Malaysia. So they are using this to achieve their aim. <coughs> Number four. Mm. Okay, uh, politician, political ideas can also help to shape the natural or political system. Last one. Last, lastly, political ideas and ideologies can act as a form of social cement, providing social groups and indeed whole societies with a set of under, undying beliefs and values. With a set of unifying beliefs and values. People, this number five uh, is very close to Hitler, who have a very strong orator skill, who unified the whole Germany in the third right of called Nazism, right? And because of that, he moved the whole entire country, or should I say the entire nations, to fight against communism, to fight against the ex-ally power, to fight against Russia, okay? And to take over the whole entire Europe by storm because of his ideologies. Next. Hmm. I'm still continuing. No, 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 no. Oh. So thinking and research on ideologies, educations of university students based on deep learning in a small, simple environment. Only for you guys uh, will share this. Uh. So you see, when you're doing your <coughs> university paper, you always must have an extract to talk about the whole entire paper. Epoch, building an evaluation system. Building an evaluation system for new media ideology education in colleges and other higher education institutions is helpful for assessing the current ideology education and encouraging higher level of information technology integration in ideology education has emerged as a key strategy for this type of education. Then, Based on the central we are, we are strategy for this type of education, we are talking about the umbrella covering the five little kids, huh? which is training, training, tuition, all this. Carry on. Based on the central, <clears throat> based on the central tenets of deep learning theory, ideology education for university students can be explored. Educational strategy from six perspectives in order to achieve deep learning for universities. These six perspectives are opening education channels, integrating education content, assist, assisting knowledge construction, creating educational situations, problem solving, and the developing multi evaluation, multiple evaluation. The, way, uh, the ways you re uh, read the whole sentence is all about educational, 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 right? They never say six percent opening on learning channel integrating a learning content, teaching contents, mentoring content, right? So you see the word education just about what to say, training, tutoring, mentoring, uh, teaching already. Carry on. This study. 
This study proposes a deep learning based evaluation model for ideology teaching through new media in higher educational education institutions and colleges, applies deep learning theories to the study's research samples and calculates the degree of association. Test samples are used to evaluate the network and positive test outcomes are attained. The deep learning model can effectively increase the accuracy of choosing an ideological and political education approach. As evidenced by its average ideal uh, accuracy of 92.6%, which is higher than that of PSBP and DEBP, which are 86.4% and 82.2% respectively. You see, by writing these TSCs, uh... This um this um degree paper, they really have to bring in statistics and math. So this is an importance of why you see these subjects are linking to together. So one of my new training method next year is called subject buddy. Okay, to let you start out, you are the first group to, to share. For example, how can I put history, geography, and math into one sentence? You see, so I can do that, right? Number one. I can use that uh, history, uh, Sir Thomas, uh, not Sir Thomas, uh, Albert Einstein came out an equation called E equal to MC squared. Correct or not? I use math. Okay, I would say uh, Albert Einstein, who was a Jewish, came out E equal to MC squared. I use Jewish, also a geography, right? It's in Israel. Correct or not? I saw it from US. Get it now? So you see, this called the, the subject bodies. It's very interesting. Uh. That means, you will never learn this in school, to be honest. And I think the school in future might do that. Because you must ask yourself, why I study dy, dx? Why I study uh, x plus y equal to z? Do I need this? Why do I need sine, cosine, tangent? So now I want to bring it that it must link to real life and able to help you in your daily life. Not in the real life, but daily life. So when this extract is to tell the professor Oh, the people who are reading this, you see, excuse me, it's just only introduction like that. You see, introduction like that. At present, there are still some problems in ideology education for university students, such as formalization as superficiality, uh, superficiality. Most university students cannot really understand the content of education. And they are passively educated, so they cannot achieve the unities of knowledge and actions. The phenomenon belongs to shallow learnings in terms of learning levels. Therefore, how to promote university students' high emotions and high behavioral involvement in ideologies learning, change the relationship between teachings and learning, and realize university students' deep learnings are the main problems as far in this study. Oh my goodness, it's so mouthful, huh? Han Ling, Tian Yu, and Yi Bo, you read really, oh my goodness. Can you imagine? I ask you, okay, summarize this. One word is called pedagogies. The words to allow you to understand the whole concept, what is education, what is learning all about. That means the strategy, you see? If you, are, you want to go JC, right? Good luck to you. Huh? You better prepare now. If not, you're going to die, die, really die. Right there. Okay, ideologies and education can make use of many social resources with obvious educational function. You realize now? You realize the word education is how Ling Tian Yu and Yi Po is so important. It's the fundamental basic concept. Education, educate, educate the citizens, educate your children. You don't say train your children, you don't teach your children. Exactly, Tian Yu, teach him a lesson, good or bad. But when you educate the person, it's different already. Okay? You educate, you bring in a lot of resources, really. Take it, huh? For example, the historical status of economist constructions around the school, typical examples and changes in resident life, landmarks project of social and multiple constructions, existing historical and cultural movements advance more the figures and various types of cultural activities venues. Teachers may neglect the real purpose of ideology education just to complete the annual teaching plan. Agree not, children? Take note of this one. Do you agree? It is very true, right? The some teachers are rushing, uh, including myself. Sometimes I'm very sad. Uh, I don't like because of the because of the the, the CCA la, competitions la, VIA, and then uh, um, uh, yeah, beside competitions and other things uh, 
sometimes uh, miss the lessons and things like that and end up what happened, they have to rush for it. And do they really teach? Do not know. So how do we know teachers' attitude towards the curriculum determines the way students learn ideologies education? Remember, it's no more just education, ideology educations. Students also enter the classroom with their bodies, but their heads are not synchronized. Agree? Especially uh, three of you. After PE lesson, you go to a class, they're all like, uh, well, it's so hot, man. Chill, chill, chill. Can you wear uniform? Chill. Can you wear t-shirt first? Uh? Chill, can I go to toilet? I wash my face. Chill, I cannot. My, my whole body is sweat. Hey, chill, chill. Can I drink water? Chill, can I Usually water? Usually when we come back from PE, we're like five minutes, 10 minutes late, so the teacher just doesn't care and get on the lesson first. I don't like that. I don't like. Seriously. That is why the, that's a teacher just neglect, no? You see, it's not fair, no? Because sometimes the PE teacher might delay you. You see, it's not your fault. Agree? Sometimes the PE teacher will ask you to pick this, kick this. So sometimes the PE teacher may not coordinate with your English or maths or science teacher. But the PE teacher also can be an English or maths or science teacher. Very funny, yeah? So it's about the attitude with you, you see? We are teachers, no? We used to be a student before. No? How come? This is Cheryl learning. Human learning activities is an extremely complex system. And the study of human learning phenomenon and its essential law has always been the focus of human attentions for a long time. Hello, Yipo, you're going to write this now. How? Oh, uh, if you stop handing your homework next year, huh? good luck to you. Lah. you. Your GP will not make it and then you cannot go to university already. Because if you can't write a GP paper in your A-level, Bye-bye. You cannot even smell the university. I'm very strict to all of your face. Huh? If you don't start writing this kind of very bombastic English, huh? okay, you can kiss your university goodbye. Unless your math is so good, then you go for engineering. Engineering don't need math. Eh, sorry. Engineering don't need powerful English. Correct or I mean, seriously. Most of the times are calculations. Huh? Right? So I hope this will give you a better idea ideas of what education is all about. Uh, it has been confirmed by a professional engineer that yes, you do not need English to become an engineer. Yeah, you just need. He's just sitting across the table from you right now. He's known as like that. that. There is a ninety degrees mean ninety. You must write this. As a matter of fact, the building must be ninety degrees in order to make the building erected. If not, this building will be slant. Hello, you think I blind? Ah? Huh? Cannot see straight ninety degree. Must write. Must write bombastic English. Write essay to tell the building straight man. Think about something. <laughs> Correct, no, seriously. You don't need. I'm not sorry. I'm not being sarcastic because the I building know. is standing at an extremely vertical ninety <laughs> degrees, and it, I, I I cannot. No, no, honey, honey. I try. Uh, engineer must be good in drawing. Okay, you must draw and must be good in the the patient of drawing. I'm not good because you need to draw, ma. So architect must need a good English. Seriously. But when you come to drawing that, you need calculations. Because I got a, a lot of friends who are engineers, who are architects, okay? And you realize that when I have engineer friends, they cannot talk to a law friend. <laughs> it will come, ah, I will not tell you, the English is strong, don't talk, don't talk. Stop, stop, stop. So his life is like that. So how do you know? Ah? Why, honey, how do you know? Confirm that engineers don't need English. You can Google. Ah. No, I asked my dad. Oh, I see. Okay. okay. <laughs> but then again, you must be good in certain things. Can I use the word hunting? You must be specialized. Okay. But the fundamental is that you need the language to make the subject good. If your language is no good, you are good in your math, your science. Sorry. All right. You know why? Because you need to see documents. No matter how, you still need some basic English. You don't tell me the past and present tense. You don't know how to read a document. Salah, they are one ton. They are wrong with the the document. We aspire. Then you build a, a bridge, ah, like the one India, like that. Boom, or die. I'm being sarcastic, ah. Okay, I'm being. I'm really very really sarcastic because I don't think the engineer in India is so lousy. Ah. Seriously, they should be very good, but it somehow maybe due to some other things. Okay, I don't want to talk about it that so much, ah.